stock market analysis and projections on the S&P 500. But first, some important information. Please do read this slide. It tells you about our approach to the markets and how we suggest you use it and the very important topic about you taking trade ownership. Do not miss this special. Level one, one month special, non-recurring, 10 bucks, just $10. Non-recurring, uh, if you want to stay, you'll be given that opportunity with another special. But take advantage of this if you've never been a member or uh, you're a free member at AskSlim.com. This is a great way to get our full analysis on the stock market. You're going to get our daily stock index report. Yes, daily analysis on the S&P 500, NASDAQ, and Russell. You're going to get the insights from my work and Matt's work on our custom charts, cycle analysis, timing on multiple time frame charts with projections, key levels, momentum conditions, all of that. Our proprietary indicators shown to you, you're going to love that. Plus, a simulator momentum tracker which I've shown you here earlier on in the show. And uh, you're going to be uh, just shocked at how valuable this is for investors and position traders. So if you're a day trader or a, a shorter term trader, you probably have investments in your IRAs and stuff like that. And that's what you're going to want to use this for or for longer holdings over a thousand symbols and groups with our built in algorithms and directional bias and momentum. Uh, and you've seen the quality of this great application. So please do consider $10 for all of that. Holy cow, you're going to get our ETF weekly review. Uh, and uh, that's on important market sectors, plus a ton of great resources with our worksheets and you gain access to the Discord server for support from our whole team. Go to slim.com, top of the page, and click the Learn More button. There's all kinds of more information and examples on there. And you want to have any other uh, things cleared up for you on that, write to Matt at AskSlim.com. Remember, $10 non-recurring, it's one time, and then you're going to have to figure out if you want to stay uh, or move up to another level or not. It'll be completely up to you, one charge, one time, $10. All right, stock market analysis, S&P 500. We're going to look at weekly analysis and monthly analysis. And uh, remember that you can get the full analysis on all the indexes by uh, signing up for 10 bucks to our uh, special right now, SIR Daily Level 1, um, uh, our whole Level 1 uh, information for $10. I'll show you more about that again in a couple minutes. So let's take a look here as we switch over to the stock market analysis. <clears throat> this is the weekly S&P 500. And you can see on here, in case you're brand new, on the bottom are those half circles or arcs. Uh, those are cycle brackets. Those are just simply a drawing tool that just helps us visualize the energies in the market, the money flows. And in this case, you can see that uh, when the uh, bear market ended over here and the bull market began, that's pretty much where these energies shifted in here. This is our reversal scout, which then turned up here. You can see the minor cycles. There are two minor cycles in here. This one very strong. And uh, this one over here, very strong. You can see where there's just small dips. And the reversal scouts turning positive right there, telling us that this was an important bottom and that the, market, the conditions are still very strong. Now, earlier in the show, I showed an example of uh, several of the high cap stocks that are very overbought based on their distance from the 34 week moving average. Here you could see the 34 week moving average right here and I've extended it out right over here with that dashed line because there's a very high probability that when this market does have its correction, it's going to correct down to that level. That happens to be the monthly 23.6%. I'll show you that monthly chart in a minute because that's where I did our work uh, on the uh, S&P 500 at the end of the year with our projections. So let's take a look here as we look at this uh, period right in here that we're looking at these last several weeks, uh, looking from the beginning of the year and then basically moving up for all of these weeks. In fact, this is historic because you can see there's only one down week that's in there out of the last 15. That is actually ties the strongest market that we have ever seen, but it has moved way away from this moving average over here. And we're getting into a period of risk that's coming up here. That means it's very likely to correct. That's when these two cycles, the second one of the sec, the second half 
and the dominant cycle come down. You can see that right in here, and that's what's coming here. Now, the later this comes right over here, the sharper the correction it's likely to be. You can see this one right over here was one, two, three, four, about five to six weeks on the downside right there, and that brought you from uh, S&P 500 of about 4,190 down over here to about uh, under 3,800. So that was 300 and something points. That's what we're looking for right here. There's a sink in mid-March, uh, the daily and weekly cycles. Uh, and that takes us down to, if it gets down to that monthly 23.6% or the top of that green line right over there, top of that green uh, rectangle, which is the 50% move of this, that would take you down about 350 points or so on the downside. The best case that I can make in an extremely bullish market would be under 4,800 right there at the intermediate 23.6%. So once this stops, it's likely to pull down a this is just too optimistic of a decline of about 230 points to that 4792. This is much more likely down to 46, just under 4650 there, which would be about uh, from the peak right now, uh, 365 points or so on the downside. Now, what are these important levels right over here? Well, I'll show you the monthly chart in a moment. But this is the monthly extensions. And this is where we thought that the market was going to rally up to between uh, the uh, 5,000 and 5050 area, which is like right over here, sometime towards the end of the year. What I said in the beginning of the year was that the likelihood of it getting to 5,000 earlier in the year was small. Well, that proved to be the lower odds occurrence that did happen. This, these levels up here around 5,100 would be the outside of what I said we would get to uh, at, towards the end of the year. So I think there's going to be a sharp correction in here, at least I would say 360 points down to that 4640 area or so. And then after that will be another upside move uh, up out into the summertime. So we actually could get a summertime peak in this bull market. Uh, but I think correction first of some significance, a pretty good shakeout. And again, the daily, which I'm not showing you in here, has a trough due in mid-March. And uh, this weekly trough right over here that you could see is around April 1st. So somewhere between mid-March and early April is really where I think this will decline down to. And this extension of the 34-week moving average is a good target for this to have on the downside. Of course, if it keeps going up and test this levels over here at 5075 or 5100, then that would raise these numbers and raise the projections. I don't think that's really going to happen. I think we're going to stall very soon here in this area, just above the 5000 number, and then get into this corrective period. So what I want to do is I want to look back at the monthly chart that I looked at earlier uh, in the year, and I'm just going to move that in. And I'm going to make a comparison here that I think is an important comparison. And that is, on the right, you can see, is the RSP. That is the equal weight S&P 500. And this over here is the S&P 500 on the monthly chart. So I'm going to blow this up first, and then we'll go back and compare. Now you see these lines right over here. That's what I had at the beginning of the year, expecting that it would continue up and then turn over, and that these highs would be made toward over here and towards the end of 2024. But we got up here into this uh, resistance areas right there uh, sooner than I would have that, that I thought was the highest probability. Still, we have this correction over here that is due out into this uh, coming um, springtime, uh, potentially, uh, with a pretty good size decline. So here, these are the supports that I moved over to the weekly chart. And this is really a period of pretty extreme risk in here. So uh, you can see that uh, this is the reversal scout right here. Uh, and uh, that's still, when it turns up, it's still strong. This is likely to be able to still tell you that we're going to have a strong market and continue to moving up towards the end of the year. There's just this window of time in here over these next few months 
months where there is likely going to be a sizable correction right there. Now, this is what I really want you to see, and that is the comparison between the S&P 500 and the uh, RSP, which is the equal weight. So this is what it looks like here. Let's just uh, get a, the, a closer look right here from that low right there to here and this low right here to here. You could see that while the S&P 500 is getting up, and we thought it could get about 5% up from this peak right there, which it's doing right now. Look over here at the equal weight. This is because the, uh, the high caps are pushing up the index very far. You still do not have a new bull market peak here in the equal weights looking at the S&P 500 and this this weights the by by market cap this one makes them all equal weighted and you can see in line with what I was talking about the breadth conditions that are in the market uh, that there is likely to be a um, a correction that comes in here because the rest of the market just plainly is not doing as well uh, and very difficult to get any significant positive breath in the market. So if there's a rotation that's going to occur, it's likely to occur when the market corrects during this period and potentially you get a much sharper downside in the uh, S&P 500, the SPX, then you will get here in the equal weights is there's likely to be some rotation, but still this corrective period that points out into April, May, right over here, this is likely to pull back and then of course move up again uh, in towards the end of the year. So we're only looking for this correction into the spring, then to move up into the summer or late year before I think we get into the full-fledged bear market, which is out here into 25 and 26 that you see right there. So I wanted to revisit this and say that what we expected was that the market would test 5,000 50-50, but not early in the year. So this is stronger but again, looking at the equal weight, you know, you can see that the market overall is not as strong as the uh, skewing that's going on because of the higher caps. And now getting into a dangerous period where a, very, where a correction is likely to come and scare everybody out of the market. Again, here is that S&P 500 with our projections that sometime in the next few months, we're going to see a best case move down into this area right over here, just under 4,800, with very likely moving down here to about 4,640. And I'm going to call that, you know, late late uh, March to early April as the time frame uh, for that correction, coming down and testing that 34-week moving average that is moving up right over here and that mid-March or later of 350 points or more to the downside. Earlier in the show, I said I thought there was a 1% potential upside and a 10% potential downside, and this is where I got that from, looking at this and that period of risk that's coming up that is so absolutely consistent. Looking way back here, you can see each of those times that we were in a period of that yellow area where there was two cycles that were coming down. In other words, the money flow is correcting and coming out. Each of those brought a sizable downside move, and we're just getting to that right now. And that says, if you're buying the market now, you're making a mistake because the risk rewards just are not great. When I say you're making a mistake, I'm talking about what I think are the highest probabilities because our analysis is probabilistic and I hope you found that to be very valuable. One more chart I want to look at in here just so you can get an idea that uh, there are things in alignment with what I'm saying. This I showed uh, two members, of course, uh, also and at the end of the year. This is a slight revision from that, uh, looking at the VIX monthly patterns back to 1987. And you can see the absolutely astounding cyclical action in here uh, that we see as the market is showing you that we are now moving into a time frame over here where it is likely that there is going to be an upward pop in implied volatility. So once you get to the bottoms right over here in implied volatilities, 
This is monthly, of course. Here you can see the crash of 87, 1994 debt crisis, long-term capital management, the 2000, 2002 bear market here, 2008, 9 bear market here, debt ceiling crisis, the Greek debt crisis, remember that one with the China flash crash, and the pandemic. Well, now you can see where we are coming to the bottom right over here and a likely upturn in implied volatilities coming. Remember, uh, upward tick, uptick in implied volatilities means a demand for puts. That's how it's measured. People need to protect positions or their short puts because they got complacent about it and then they have to start to cover. So you can see in here as I come a little closer, we are now in this bottoming phase now for implied volatilities of a decline that is going on all the way through 2022, 2023, 2024 in this minor cycle right there. Now they're both about to turn up. You're going to see upside spikes and potentially events here in these next couple of years. Uh, so watch out for that. This is an alignment with what I'm telling you about as we uh, look at the potential for this correction in the market and for an important stock market peak towards the uh, summer or fall of this year. Right now, we'll just look for this correction that we've been talking about. And that is the analysis that I wanted to show you in the stock market. You can get the full analysis by becoming a level one member. This special 10 bucks, non-recurring, <coughs> Gives you a look at our stock index report for a whole month on the S&P 500, NASDAQ, and the Russell. You're going to get our simulator momentum tracker that I showed earlier in the show. It's great for investors and position traders. You'll get our spider select review, plus many great resources for your trade planning and access to our team through the Discord channel. Go to the top of the play page uh, of the main page at Ask Slim. Click Learn More. There's everything is laid out for you there, and you can sign up for ten bucks, non-recurring, uh, and uh, you're just going to love what you see. Uh, as you get analysis from us every single day. And Matt does a fantastic job on that.